Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about advanced operating system concept that is known as AMOEBA. A M O E B A AMOEBA. So, on the request of my students, I have decided to uh, take a video of the same of AMOEBA. So, first of all, what is AMOEBA? AMOEBA started uh, in. It was originated at Virji University, Amsterdam. V R I J E Virji and university is not that spelling which you spell in English normally. That is U N I V E R S I T E I T uh, Amsterdam. The Netherlands in nineteen eighty one as a research project in distributed and parallel computing. So actually, it is a research project uh, that name is Omoeba, and it is in distributed and parallel computing. It is basically used in. okay this is a research project and it was designed primarily by andrew s tenenborn t a n e n b a u m tenenborn and three of the phd students and their name phd students is franz f r a n s n s franz and uh, more specifically all the three student names i'm just giving you uh france uh cash shock k w a s h o e k e k and uh, the other name is s a p e s a p j mulender m u l l e n d e r and robert van uh, renesi uh, v n r e n e l s e although many other peoples were also contributed to the design and implementation but they were the main three phd scholars and uh, Ten and bomb. Okay. Uh, then although okay, fine. That is okay. I have completed that. By 1983, an initial protocol Amoeba 1.0 was operational. So this is how it came into existence, and the latest version of this is Amoeba 5.2. It has gone to. Okay. Then if I uh, consider upon the research goals, what exactly they were researching in this project Amoeba named as. many research project in distributed operating system have started with an existing system example unix and added a new feature such an uh, networking and a shared file system to make it more distributed now what they are saying actually what was happening was that unix was uh, you know uh, was uh, there for distributed computing system uh but uh, in a lot many research papers that was overcome by uh, you know that was hidden in uh, some other ways so again unix came into existence when uh, tenenbaum and three of the research students uh, phd students uh, they get involved in a, a project called a research project called amoeba and uh, in which the unix plays you know unix operating system uh, played a major role it was basically for distributed operating system and computings okay then the omeba project took a different approach it started with a clean slate and uh, developed a new system from scratch so basically they start with the scratch only the idea was to make a fresh start and experience experiment with new ideas without having to worry about backward compatibility with any existing systems to avoid the chaos of having to rewrite a huge amount of application software from scratch as well a unix emulation package was added later so actually they have started the project with the scratch that means they had nothing beforehand written or up to date for their project but they have taken help from a unix uh, what they are saying unix project that was emulation package that was later added to it so that they don't have to do it from the very starting of it and they get some help from somewhere else right so the primary goal of the project was to build a transparent distributed operating system that was the primary objective of this research paper uh, name as amo amora that uh, now what was actually amoba amoiba a m o e b a amoiba uh, that the main uh, you know project goal was to build a transparent distributed operating system that was their main objective now to the average user using amoeba is like using a traditional times sh uh, sharing system like unix okay this is how they have just explained all the concept an important distinction between amoeba and many other distributed systems is that amoeba has no concept of a home machine when a user log in 
it is to the system as a whole not to a specific machines machine do not have owners okay fine this is how they are saying that it is not at all uh, based uh, just like other machines because in this this is not it does not follow the concept of home machines in which you just log in and you get logged in until and until it is uh, it keeps you get logged out by yourself right the initial shell started upon login runs on some arbitrary machines but as commands are started up in general they do not run on the same machine as the shell instead the system automatically looks around for the most lightly loaded machines to run each new command on so this is how they were doing like uh, fine this is uh, now uh, talking about the architecture of amoeba system they say that amoeba were designed with two assumptions about the hardware in mind number one assumption was so two assumptions for amoeba hardware number one assumption is system will have a very large number of cpus that means central processing unit and the brain of the computer is very large in the, that has been assumed in amoeba and the other assumption is second number is each cpu will have tens of megabytes of memory so tens tens means lot of megabytes of memory is required for this kind of uh, you know distributed operating system in which we want it transparent to be right this is a kind of paper research paper that we is working on and uh, if i talk about just if i look at the diagram and i just give you a view about it that is like uh, the amoeba system architecture is there there is a pool of processors there are terminals x terminal means computer systems there is a file server in which all the files are saved and there is a printer server in which all the printing commands is to be done by the whatever the command the processor gives to the uh you know server so this is how it was architecture is like in which two assumptions are there that is very important to uh, keep an eye on then the amoeba micro kernel now what is micro having looked at the amoeba hardware model uh, now they are saying amoeba consists of two basic pieces number one piece is a micro kernel which runs on every processor and a collection of servers that provides most of the traditional operating system functionality the overall now the, just if i look at the diagram of that amoeba uh, software structure so it consists of client then there is micro kernel and uh, there is process management memory management communication input output all these thing take uh, take place in the micro kernel part then there is a server and there is a thread fine on the other end so they say that uh, the same kernel can be used as a pool processing the terminal assuming that they are computer rather than next terminal and the specific server the micro kernels has four prime primary function number one is manage processes and threads number two provide low level memory management support number three support communication and number four is handle low level input output so this is very important the functionality of the kernel now with this i hope so the uh amoeba concept is clear to all my students on the request of them i have just uh, done this video i hope this uh, video is beneficial to you all uh, keep uh, gaining knowledge and keep working hard and do get good marks thank you and have a good day thank you